So hi everyone, uh, I would uh, uh, with a very warm welcome, I introduce you to Dr. Krutarth. He secured rank 66 in INICT May 2024. So heartiest congratulations, Krutarth. Thank you, ma'am. That's what I'm saying. Lagna bhi chahiye hai na. It is, uh, it is a great rank, and I am sure आपने इसके लिए बहुत मेहनत करी है, है ना? Yes, sir. So Krutarth has been a, a classroom student with us from third year. He was studying with us in, from Dam Surat. Am I right? Yes, sir. Yes, wonderful. So Krutarth, थोड़ा सा अपनी preparation strategy के बारे में बताओ for the INICT exam, है ना? So uh, what what did you do? Uh, and what was your thought process when you started your preparation? Uh, first of all, uh, before three months, I hadn't thought of giving INI set. Uh, but my, uh, I thought I'll be giving NEET and if I get a seat, I would not be, you know, giving INI set. Uh, mm -hmm. But luck, uh, luck had something else in mind. So I... <laughs> Uh, as soon as uh, the neat postponement news came, I changed my strategy a bit and okay. uh, I started uh, uh, focusing more on the first and second year subjects. I uh, Because the first 10 days, it was like, why is this happening right now? Um, I was not able to study. So I decided I'm not going to study these 10 days. I'm going to give all the past five, seven years papers that were available on times. Uh, I gave them for. Okay. Uh, I and I said papers. So I got a rough idea and I realized they weren't asking anything uh, uh, drastically different. Yes. So that was an ego boost there. So I started uh, solving them and uh, slowly I thought it might be possible. So uh, it was and so I'm for the glad, first time. I'm glad you was... thought that, right? It is very important to always keep the possibility there. Don't rule yourself out, hai na? So uh, that's wonderful. So Krutarth, when you decide kiya ki aap, uh, uh, you know, you will definitely think of giving the INICT exam as well, right? So humne, did we in increase the number of grant tests that we were giving? We notes pad rahe the. Saath mein MCQ practice kaise kar rahe the? How did you do a strength weakness analysis? Uh, or uh, thoda sa about, you know, we had done the special INI PYT sessions also. Did you utilize them to know ki kya paper mein aara hai? Uh, yes, ma'am. I remember in my uh, third, first, in the mid, I uh, I attended your classes uh, online. Uh, mm -hmm. Where you told that give a grant test. It doesn't matter. It, it will just show where you are. So yes. uh, I gave my first grant test, I think in the mid third first. And okay. uh, uh, my seniors were also giving grant test on 10 app. So I, uh, so the first test I got uh, around 450. And mm. that was a, that was also very helpful to me to know where I am. And some of my exactly. seniors told me that if you are getting that in your first attempt, that's a good thing. So actually, my first grant test was because of you. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm glad I could initiate that, uh, you know, ignition. Because it's always about to know, ki aap, uh, you know, you definitely are there in the game. You just have to know where you are now, bridge the gap and reach to the other side, right? So GT ko kis se dete hai, wo dekhna. if you keep thinking of it as something which is going to assess you, then it's a problem. If you think of it by using it for your own assessment, then that is the way forward. Hai na? Yes, okay. And Trutarth, uh, hum, uh, ye batao ki, uh, when you were doing giving grant tests, you have to ensure that your number of correct questions rahe, right? Right? Uh, so uh, also let me know that uh, you were talking about practicing questions from the DAMS app. So, how many frequency we were doing, DQB or test papers? Karte the. What was the mix and match that you were doing? Uh, in the third first, I started doing DQB. It was not complete complete me, but I saw what, what, what the main topics were. If there was DQB, ho, I used to, uh, if I had the time, I used to do it. Or SWTs, I uh, monthly or 15 days. Pe di thi. Alag -alag. I used to give it like if I have not done a subject, I would give a test of that subject. So I know that I'm going to 
सो आई थिंक दैट वाज रियली हेल्पफुल राइट सो पहले आप पेपर देते थे एंड देन यू यूज्ड टू एनालाइज कि कौन से वीक एरियाज हैं दैट्स दैट्स ग्रेट सो दैट इज स्पेशली इंपॉर्टेंट क्लोज टू द एग्जाम यू नो जब आपको शुरू से शायद नोट्स पढ़ने का मन ना हो तो इट्स ऑलवेज गुड टू गो रेट्रोग्रेड वे कि पहले अपनी वीकनेस आइडेंटिफाई कर लो और फिर उस पर काम करो ओके एंड यू नो जब हम रिवाइज करते हैं फॉर एग्जाम लेट से द एग्जाम इज वन एंड हाफ मंथ आगे आने वाला है या एक महीना रह गया है तो हमने कैसे स्ट्रेटजी बदली Uh, मेरा मेन ये था कि आई आई नॉट गो फॉर द शॉर्ट शॉर्टकट्स यू नो शॉर्टकट्स अवेलेबल मैंने सोचा था कि मैंने पांच छह बार पढ़ लिया है अपना uh, mm-hmm. मतलब नोट्स रिवाइज किए हैं तो मेरे से पॉसिबल था कि मैं हर रोज एक या दो सब्जेक्ट इफ दे आर शॉर्टर सब्जेक्ट्स आई कैन डू थ्री ऑफ देम इन अ डे इफ इट्स लाइक ओबीसी वाई और इट्स मेडिसिन तो आई कैन डू इट इन टू डेज और समटाइम्स वन एंड हाफ डे सो so, मेरा मेन यही था कि अगर मैं दो बार भी कंप्लीट कर दूं इन द लास्ट मंथ रिवाइजिंग द मेन नोट्स देन आई थिंक इट वुड बी हेल्पफुल एंड मुझे पेपर देख के भी वही लगा अगर शॉर्टकट्स पे गया होता तो दिस टाइम इट वाज वेरी डिफरेंट इन अ वे कि दे आर वन लाइनर्स एंड इट वाज समथिंग लाइक इफ यू डोंट नो इट देन यू कॉन्ट गेस इट Yes. it was very simple basic one liners and one question about uh, most potent estrogen estradiol mm-hmm. that i remembered you only so yeah. uh, that was i think ye bahut zaruri hai realize karna jo aapne abhi bola kyunki mujhe lag raha hai ki kuch bachche is baar unko lag raha hai they haven't performed up to the mark aur mujhe aisa lag raha hai ki uska ek major karan ye hai ki they are relying too much on rapid revision ya chote chote revisions ya shortcuts क्योंकि ना ये पेपर ऐसा था जिसमें आपको अच्छी नॉलेज होनी चाहिए कंटेंट की पेपर मुश्किल नहीं था मगर कंटेंट का नॉलेज अच्छा होना चाहिए तो यू नो आई आई फील कि यू आर राइट ऑन दैट कि अगर आप बहुत ज्यादा सिर्फ आपका गोल ये है कि जल्दी से कर लो तो उसमें कहीं ना कहीं आप क्वालिटी को डेफिनेटली यू आर कॉम्प्रोमाइजिंग ऑन इट मे बी यू आर डूइंग इट इन शॉर्टर स्पैन ऑफ टाइम बट इट रियली डजेंट हेल्प इन दी एज फार एज दस आर कंसर्न राइट सो थोड़ा सा और एलेबरेट कर क्योंकि ये आई थिंक इट विल स्ट्राइक विद स्टूडेंट्स जिनको ऐसा लग रहा है कि उतना एक्सपेक्ट जितना किया था शायद उतना अच्छा उन्होंने परफॉर्म नहीं किया है ना सो वो इम्पोर्टेंट है उसके लिए आप क्या बताओगे so your mind is not working that well or ye gts aisa tha hi nahi matlab in gts you can you know you have the time and gts yeah. mein mai speed nahi hoti thi ki even if there was a 50 minute uh, 45 minutes that i used to complete my questions in 35 40 minutes but wahan pe kuch uh, sets mein aisa hua hai ki i am at my 40th question 10 baki aur 2 minute rahi hai so i have to rely on uh, the reflex uh, that i have created yeah. and go through those questions so usme bahut at least 10 bahut hi silly mistakes kiye aur to mujhe to lag raha tha ki is baar bahut piche hunga so this was a surprise only right so definitely you uh, you know the time constraint is there kuch sections shayad one or four jo the wo thode lengthy or side pe bhi the and isliye you know you shouldn't keep too many for review शुरू से अपना टाइम मैनेजमेंट को ध्यान रखना चाहिए एंड हैज ही सेड बेसिकली द पॉइंट ही इज ट्राइंग टू मेक इज कि इन द एग्जामिनेशन हॉल यू डोंट नो व्हाट द पेपर इज गोइंग टू बी सो व्हाट ही सेइंग कि तैयारी ऐसी होनी चाहिए कि रिफ्लेक्सली बहुत सारी चीजों का आंसर आ पाए और वो तभी होगा जब आपका कॉन्टेंट अच्छा होगा आपने एक अच्छे लेवल का अपना बेसिक तैयारी किया हुआ है एंड आई अग्री ये हम भी अपने यूट्यूब वीडियोज पे बोलते हैं कि ईजी क्वेश्चन तो ऐसे होने चाहिए इजी और मॉडरेट वाले कि बहुत सारे सिर्फ रिफ्लेक्स पे ही सॉल्व हो बिकॉज समटाइम्स व्हेन यू ओवरथिंक तो आप गलती भी ज्यादा करते हो और जैसे कृतार्थ ने कहा कि सोचने का तो वो ही नहीं है क्योंकि अगर वो वन लाइनर है तो आप उसमें क्या ही सोच लोगे सो ही इज राइट सो येस यू हैव टू बिल्ड दोज काइंड ऑफ रिफ्लेक्सेस उसके लिए आप कॉन्टेंट पे ध्यान दो उसके लिए आप अपने वीकनेस या वीक एरियाज पे ध्यान दो उनको लेके वापस अपने नोट्स पे जाओ उनको स्ट्रेंथन करो राइट और कृतार्थ मुझे बताओ कि आप बोल रहे थे कि आपने डीवीटी मल्टीपल टाइम्स रिवाइज किया है राइट सो उसके बारे में कुछ बताओ कि हाउ डू यू थिंक दैट रिविजन वॉज यू नो एज एन एड ऑन एंड इट वॉज अ गुड रिसोर्स फॉर यू 
so i didn't think of it as uh, you know something extra it was a supply uh, it was a supplement i knew i had to do my main notes or i uh, i felt main notes were complete but if you want to do it in a shorter time uh, by excluding some less important topics or some less important points you can do it from dvt so i had made a list of subjects that i'll do from dvt as well as this so i don't miss on some high yield topics okay. so uh, i used dvt that way i didn't complete it uh, i had read it one two times completely but uh, then i knew what was uh, what i was forgetting or uh, what would be yeah. more useful to revise on the last day or the last week so i uh, did uh, uh, those things in the last few days from it yes yes that's a very good mix in fact that is that should be the strategy for now for neat pg also krutarth i think aap agree karoge ki aap apna dvt se revision karo magar usme se saath saath ye identify karte raho ki kaun se topics hain jo aapko yaad nahi hain ya jo aapko weak lag rahe hain ya jinme aap utna acha score nahi kar rahe ho and it's a good idea to selectively go back to your main notes hai na so aapka jo ek loop hole rahega wo bhi fill up ho jata hai uh also krutarth what what was the frequency of giving grant tests bache uh my mom have given so many grant tests uh, because when i was in my internship uh, we used to in my first three of uh, my first three months were uh, surgery and medicine so okay. i knew i'm i'm going to waste those three months and so my thing was i used to do previous year on uh, on dams on i used to do those questions uh, where they were available and uh, i used to uh, you know uh, so that was a thing cause i knew i couldn't take my book everywhere so if i'm uh, if i'm in the hospital corridors or something like that i used to do those mcqs and uh, then i uh, Uh, on some days where you feel like you can't study, I gave one test, sometimes two tests, uh, grant tests. So uh, that was a way of uh, uh, giving those. I used to give uh, in a week. I used to give two, okay. one or two. Yes, which is fair. And when you come close to the exam, you should increase the frequency so that you can analyze ki kaha pe ham abhi bhi kamzor hain aur usko ham reassess kar paaye aur usko dobara dek paaye. perfect and uh, krutarth in the end uh, i want to know ki what kept you going right for example agar aap se abhi jo bacche uh, you know uh, maybe who haven't performed up to their expectation or who aage you know neat is coming up they may want to give up give the next aims also so what would be your advice for them i think you need to work hard and uh... i think at the end of the day if you have worked hard it will pay off eventually because as i said this was also very shocking for me i didn't expect this i i was demotivated for 4 5 days i haven't studied that well for 4 5 days after i and i said yeah yeah i thought i have because uh, this time i don't know everyone was around me was saying it was a very easy paper it is a very easy paper i thought how could i because i used to give my gts and all were going fine they weren't superb or they weren't very bad it was fine and i thought so, i have uh, i have some idea about what was your number of correct questions in the grand test i think it was around uh, oh in a grand test it was i was uh, getting somewhere between 160 to 170 correct okay and what do you think is the approximate number of correct questions in ini set i think it's around i think it's 1518 148 to 152 i would have gotten right okay okay right just to have an assessment you know ki bahut baar hame aisa lagta hai ki humne shayad ye question theek kiya hai but you know you never know uh, maybe what was going on in the mind in the examination hall sometimes Definitely. you you are confused between two options and then you land up marking the other one right so it does happen like that and everybody makes mistakes uh, it's just about who makes less mistakes right and that's that's where the target has to be ओके सो यस कृतार्थ आप बता रहे थे कि व्हाट वुड यू बी योर एडवाइस टू दीस बच्चास या सो डोंट लूज होप एंड आई नो इट्स वेरी हार्ड टू यू नो समटाइम्स व्हेन यू हैव गिवन योर हार्ट टू समथिंग फॉर अ ईयर और फॉर 6 मंथ्स व्हाटएवर टाइम इट इज इट फील्स वेरी हार्ड टू डिटैच योरसेल्फ फ्रॉम द आउटकम बिकॉज़ यू कांट यू हैव गिवन सो मच टाइम टू इट सो इट्स वेरी हार्ड बट यू हैव टू रीस्टार्ट एट सम पॉइंट सो आई थिंक दैट that's the main advice you have to restart from where you stopped and trust yourself 
that's true that's true he's right you know at some point you'll have to forget about what has happened so far and restart and restart with a positive frame of mind that you you are the same person who has reached this far and therefore you can go even farther right uh, the limit is only when you decide ki this is my limit yes so uh, th- that was a very wise piece of advice krutat any anything that you want to talk about the pattern of the paper uh, because it was different from what we have seen so far uh, anything that you want to talk about uh, the you know subject uh, importance or uh, paper was a little skewed also uh, you know some subjects has had less representation to kuch uh, uske bare mein bhi batana chahoge um i so i was definitely expecting more question from ophthalmology because last time they did the same so that yeah. was one thing i was sure about this time uh, one thing they made very clear was every subject is equally important yes uh, they because you won't expect these many questions from radio and radio was integrated with other uh, subjects like surgery and uh, yeah. it was an psm not coming in the paper was very shocking like because <laughs> yeah. usually, usually there are two three biostats questions so that was also but yeah giving equal weightage to all subjects will definitely fetch you and the paper was like if you have if you know the core basics and even if you haven't read in the last month i think you can score a decent rank cuz some very basic things were there that you don't have to mug up yeah i agree and that is why uh, the content is important that is why whether you have understood your concepts or not is important right because har waqt har cheez hum wapas nahi pad pate hain so some things have to be there in your uh, faint memory and you have to as you said previously it has to reflexly come up superficially aana padega usko hai na so perfect uh, kritarth and what what branch beta ji what do you want to take Uh, i really haven't thought about it but it would be a non surgical branch i think okay so wish you all the best trithat and i'm sure that you're going to do well and uh, you're going to keep rising you're going to keep shining and i would just say uh, we here the entire rams families uh, you know we thank you for making us a part of your journey and we wish you a very bright future ahead thank you so much ma'am thank you so much. thank you trithat have a wonderful day take care bye bye